and when I moved to Mary Hill, my daughter was two years. So when she was when she was about to turn three, I started to check the nurseries in the area, and by chance I just came here, and it's been a wonderful place for me to be. It's been wonderful, and I've been coming from another part of the world and finding myself here with my husband and my three kids alone and it could be very lonely very very lonely and and coming to a new place you just don't start to interact with people just like that well when i came to wineford the head teacher mary patma she's she kind of started a group where all the um, other country women could come and have a cup of tea and and talk mm -hmm. and share their experiences and just have a place like the, like a social gathering after you drop your child. That was kind of very thoughtful of her because we got to know each other. Mm -hmm. Then if you don't have, if you need somebody to help you, you can easily talk to somebody but i believe if that group if it wasn't there you won't be able to interact with other moms because you kind of see them from afar mm -hmm. so it kind of created a place like home in the nursery mm -hmm. and another good thing i would like to add is uh, mary pat and the other teachers they are very very friendly mm -hmm. they are very very friendly I remember when I had my third child, I was kind of really struggling. I was struggling with the bringing the second one to the nursery, taking the first one to, to the school and coping with work. I couldn't cope with work and it was funny how the teachers and Mary Pat quickly noticed that. Yeah. And I couldn't forget that experience sincerely. I was really grateful to her. She called me to the office and if she called me like three times and every time she calls me I was always crying yeah. I was always crying I, I wasn't just coping but I don't know why I'm a very strong person I work in the community as well I work to support people but I couldn't just support myself but I could say the most she and the teachers were the help I needed she told me about a lot of things I had access to she told me about a lot of things that she could do for me and you know, having somebody asking, I've only brought my child to the nursery, so I wasn't kind of thinking somebody was going to notice me, I wasn't happy, I'm kind of tearful. But it's a kind of place that they have your interest at heart. And because I felt if they could care about me and see when they feel you like, when they see you that way, the teachers kind of carry your children, carry your baby, ask how the baby is doing. It looks so simple, but it's a lot. It's a lot mm -hmm. to be parents. You know, they are white. You understand? Yeah. And they don't really care. They just take your baby from you to carry your child. You know, as if, I don't know, as if it's not a school. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. They are very, very homely. And I'll be very grateful to them. And see, because of that, every concern I have about the children, mm -hmm. I find it so easy to call any one of them and discuss about my child to them. You understand? When I feel they are not speaking right, something is wrong, I could easily go in there and ask them. I've been to a lot of places, but I kept coming back here. Yeah. I have my last child here now, but it's a place I could really say they are doing a lot of good job. Yeah. It's a very, very good job they are doing. They are very, very friendly, especially to we blacks. Mm. 